Delighted to say, as ever, we're joined by uh, Eamon Logue, our golfing expert from uh, the Hilton <laughs> Temple Patrick Hotel and Country Club. You know what I mean? A broad smile on his face. And why wouldn't you be? We've got the world number one on Rory McIlroy. We're looking forward to the Masters. A bit of pressure on the young fella. Can he win it? Adrian, there's absolutely no doubt. He is, as Jordan Spieth mentioned in the last tournament, Rory is the man that they're all chasing. They're the, he's the guy that they're all aspiring to beat every time they turn it up. It's a bit like the, the Tiger Factor. When Tiger turned up, he was the one they all wanted to beat. That mantle has now left Tiger, and now Rory is the man. He's the guy taking the top spot. That's the one they want to, the place they want to swap with. That's the guy they want to beat in the tournament. Is he in a good place? You know, is he glad to see the back of that uh, court case and that's all gone, done, dusted, and now he can concentrate on his game? You know, uh, is he is he in good shape, Eamon, heading into this? Because everybody talks about the pressure of winning the Masters and the green jacket. Is he under severe pressure to win it, and is he in a good place? He's not. I wouldn't think it's pressure. I think from the Middle East swing when he went there and, and, and really just dominated over in Dubai, he was looked phenomenal. He goes there for his two-week warm-up session, his practice session after the Christmas layoff, and he, by all accounts, Justin Parsons based there said he has never seen him swing in the club as well. It's the, the, the Grand Slam. That will be the only thing that will be in, in Rory's way if he gets in his own way thinking, I can be the third, fourth player in history to win the Grand Slam, to hold all titles at one time. So that would be his only stumbling block. But as regards playing the golf course, he's been, as you know, been there before leading, going into the back nine a couple of years back. And on present form, obviously didn't show well in the Arnold Palmer, but I would say after that little break, a little bit of rest, he'll be back fine-tuned again and ready to go. Now, I know this might sound like a stupid question because he is world number one, but you know what I'm saying when mm -hmm. I ask it. How good is he? Oh, it's when you see him in real life and you see him hitting shots, there isn't anybody that would touch him. The absolute flow, the, the completely uncomplicated, but yet this golf ball comes out of the club face and it's actually screaming for help when it leaves there. And it's just the pure finesse, the balance, the flow. That's the swing. They all try to copy. It's not, it's born of natural talent. It's not a taut swing. Michael would have had very little to do with Rory when he was growing up a little bit of changes here there grip wise that he would tell you about but it's just one of those god given things that Rory is so fortunate to be the man and obviously being from Northern Ireland helps an incredible deal for us